Let me put it this way to you. There was a, a recent discovery or an announcement by uh, Senator Percy that since being a senator, out of his own pocket, it has cost him thus far $70,000. Uh, he admitted that a group of his friends got together and promoted $100,000 for him, I guess, to defray the costs of uh, uh, the fact that he's a senator. And yet you came almost close to ruin in your political life because of an $18,000. How does this uh, sit with you, Mr. Nixon? Uh, but now people can admit to... It's only a question of putting all these things in perspective. I think that... Uh, I think that fair-minded people now realize that uh, even though the allowances for what a senator and congressman receive have now tripled over what they were in 1950, and they should have, and they should be even more, uh, that even now it's uh, still not possible to represent a big state like Illinois or California or New York uh, and maintain a staff that is adequate to handle the tremendous uh, requests of your constituents. Uh, I think in 1950, at the time that uh, uh, I had a, a group of supporters who, over two years, uh, raised $18,000 to supplement my office expenses, that then, uh, while many senators and congressmen did the same thing, uh, that it became a great political issue. Perhaps because I took the heat on that issue, Senator Percy won't take it now, and I don't think he should take any heat on it, because not only Senator Percy, but I would say a majority of the members of the Senate from the major states, and a majority of the members of the House from the more shall we say, populous districts, populous in terms of those that write letters to them, have to have some supplemental funds. Their, their allowances simply aren't adequate. So it's almost now the qualifications to be a candidate for any offices. You must be a rich man. You must have plenty of children at home, a great <laughs> smile, a winning way, uh, almost able to do a commercial. And uh, it's almost the qualification. Can a poor boy be president ever again? Well, I suppose we might find out. I'm not sure, but... Uh... <laughs>